Hello from ChiNature.com. This is Mark Chou Si. Today I would like to talk about uh, the Dexi Chinese flute, and we'll be doing a, a series of videos to show you how to um, learn the Dexi yourself. Here uh, we'll be showing you the Dex Dexi Chinese flute, and it's all made of bamboo. These here are no no fancy stuff. They're just some uh, cheap flute that is about five to ten bucks but of course uh, you can get much better ones and the difference is the better one um, is more pricey and also um, they have much better sound and sometimes on these uh, cheaper ones they can crack and uh, the sound can be not as accurate and you know <clears throat> all sort of stuff but um, for beginners it's fine to use a cheaper one uh, just do like it does the job. So here we have a uh, D key deck G, and then here we have a uh, F key. So basically, I suggest everyone to start with the D because the D is the easiest um, to learn first. So let's take the D deck G. <clears throat> okay, very good. Now um, you see we got this deck G here, and as you see, we have six finger holes, one membrane hole, and one blow hole. For the membrane hole here, right beside the uh, uh, blow hole, you need to tape that up with uh, tape, or you can use the uh, deck mop, which is the membrane. And for all beginners, I really, really suggest you to use tape, because when you use tape, you eliminate the factor of uh, like if you set up the dead mark wrong, then uh, you won't have the sound. But if you use tape, it's guaranteed that there will be sound if you blow it right. So here I have a dead mark here, and I haven't played this deck for like a, a while. So let's try to see if the dead mark still works. Eh? Okay, you you can feel that the dead mark is getting loose. Right now, I'll just take a close look at my dead mark. Okay, so you see there are some lines there, right? <clears throat> but then the lines are kind of, like you can see that the membrane is, it is um, stretched, but then it's not really stretched. And you can hear the sound is kind of too, like it's vibrating too much. See? So, and then the sound gets shaky. And if you blow the high note, the demo will really loosen up. See, when you blow like that, okay, now the demo is too loose to blow. You see? So, yeah, right now the demo is way too loose to blow and it's not working anymore. You see? And then it won't work. So the problem is, it's not my fault. I mean, the player's fault when uh, you cannot make a sound. So... That's why I say always stick with the tape first because tape, if it's screwed up, just rip it out and tape in another one. So to fix the deck mark, okay, just uh, tips here. You go like that right here into the mouth and go like that. And then what you do is you put the two fingers here and then you try to go like that. Like this. As you go and moist in that mop, like this, and then you stretch, you can see that the that mop is being tightened up and the lines will reduce. You still want the lines there, but not a lot. Make sure you don't pull too tight. And it also strengthens the glue again. And that is one big reason why we use that glue and not a glue stick. Okay, right now the demo should be okay. Okay. Okay, let's try that out. Okay, 
Okay, still a bit, um, you can hear the sound is not clear, right? It's fine. We'll do a bit more. And make sure when you go, you don't really like spit water onto it and, and wet the dead mouth too. If the dead mouth have, has water, it's not going to sound. Okay. We'll talk about how to tape the dead mouth later on. But right now, I just want to show you like how um, troublesome it is to have a dead mouth here. It sounds good, but um, it's very hard to set up. Okay, when you go to the high note and it doesn't work, you look at the dead mode and then you see, oops, there's some, like, too many lines and it's not really working well. So you need to really stretch it a bit. You want to get it to the point that you can actually blow the high notes. Now you know why I say, for the beginners, don't use that mode. It's really not easy. See, the, the sound of them always oh, weird, eh, right now? And you can only see the problem after you set up the demo to learn when you blow. Tape, okay? Clear tape. Make sure you try to use tape that is thin and not very thick and heavy. And choose the tape that is clear and not translucent. Packing tape doesn't work well, but if you have very thin and clear packing tape, sure, we'll ch try that. See, I was playing all the high notes, high pitch, and no problem. No need to fool around, stretch, nothing you need to do. So all of you who just start your deck Z or uh, deck, okay, the first thing, remember, don't screw around with the deck mall. <laughs> With a tape, you don't need to do anything. You just pick it up and and then there you go. Very, very easy to to upkeep. And um, you can use the tape over and over again because basically the, it, the, the tape don't, don't uh, break and it's durable. Uh, like when you put this inside your bag or something, you, you won't worry that it will come off or whatever. It's not very affected by the uh, temperature too. Also, uh, if anything goes wrong, just cut yourself an other piece of tape and then tape over it. Change it, right? So, very good choice for beginners. So yeah, that's the uh, main point of this video. I want to show you guys to start your day one of the deck. Get yourself uh, some tape and then try to blow a sound. Uh, if you cannot blow a sound while it's tape, then uh, you got to watch the second lesson. I'm going to teach you how to blow the deck. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.